episode of Sip of Sarah. Today on the show, we're going to make, um, um, let's see, what should we call it? A chi Asian chicken soup. Perfect for getting cold, or cold weather. Now, I took out of the freezer some homemade chicken broth, thawed it out, put it in here, cut up three small chicken breasts in like cubes, like bite size, you know, for your spoon. Cut up two large stalks of celery, not celery, but carrots. You can put celery in this. I didn't think about it. I think I'm out. And a whole onion. Um, you got a couple cloves of garlic chopped up in here. Or more, more like four for me. <clears throat> and what I did is... I'm at the stage where my chicken and carrots are done. Then, what we're going to put in here is our bok choy. Now, you can put, now bok choy is like a cabbage. You could use regular cabbage or Napa cabbage. This is about three large bulbs. Of course, don't worry about the recipe. I will have that down in the description written out of everything I use. So the major ingredient to this recipe is the chicken, Napa cabbage, and we got our mushrooms. Lots of mushrooms go in this one. And our green onions. That's the big base of the dish. Use any kind of mushrooms you have. White button mushrooms, shiitakes, whatever you want. I've been getting some unique mushrooms on my Misfits. Um, it's like a produce thing. A monthly produce thing. Well, not monthly. You could do weekly or two weeks. I think there might be a monthly. And you pick your produce and it ships to you. And then, of course, the green onions. This is a large bunch. Now, I might have to add just a little bit more water to make it come up to where I need it. I'm bringing it back to a boil. So I can cook my other stuff. Now it won't take very long for your mushrooms, your green onions, and bok choy, okay? Put a little bit of water in there. Okay. I've already got onion powder, garlic powder, salt, and pepper. Now we're going to come with a little bit of soy sauce. Um, now watch, don't put too much salt in because you know your soy when it goes in, it's going to be salty. So just put a little salt in the beginning and then when you add your soy sauce after they, everything combines together and you can taste it and see if you need a little more, uh, pinch another salt. So once this comes up to a boil, I'm going to put my noodles in. Let's see if we can get a cluster. Of this. The noodles I'm choosing to use is, I don't know if you can see this, rice, rice noodles. Okay? So they only take two or three minutes. They're angel hair rice noodles. And I'm going to put them in here so it comes up to a boil. And then two or three minutes, and the soup is done. And I don't know if I'll use this whole package. I brought it back on high. So we can see. Get it to start going. I'm 
sorry. <clears throat> I'm sorry I've been MI missing in action. <laughs> I have been having tooth problems, my wisdom tooth, and so I had to finally go get it cut out. <clears throat> and, I got, and another tooth, so. Um, I had to heal after that. So, now I'm back in. It was hard, uh, hard for me to talk or anything. So, I'm back now. Getting you some yummy recipes coming. And it's one, hopefully some more yummy uh, fall new recipes. <coughs> I'm going to, oh, that's full of, I'm going to open my pack of rice noodles and break them apart. They come like mounted in a pack. in the spring rolls or when you do the Vietnamese spring rolls you've seen me use these before so or stir fry see I just pulled out a bunch and I'm just gonna cut them in half like this with some kitchen shears <coughs> what I found works the best See, look how I've cut them. <clears throat> and <clears throat> the <clears throat> these noodles does not take very long, so do not walk away from your pot. Because you can cook, overcook these noodles easily. Now, you use any kind of noodles you want. Or don't use any noodles. It's kind of like a Asian chicken and vegetable noodle soup. But my version. Okay. We're starting to come. See the bubbles? Now let's poke our... We'll have to put some in at a time and stir them in. <laughs> Reminds me of like straw and hay. <laughs> this stuff goes everywhere once you cut it or you break it in pieces. But I love these kind of noodles and stir fry and everything like that. You can put as much as you want. bunch is going to be enough that I cut. So I'm only using half of the pack. And they don't come no smaller in the smaller pack. So. <clears throat> Push them in right there. And you can get angel hair or the regular ones. All I found was the angel hair in my grocery store. So. See them how they're picking up? Little noodles. <clears throat> Let's 
smells good to me. I'm going to turn it down now to a little bubble. <clears throat> and I say we're almost at the three minutes. So this is what we're having tonight. I'm going to ladle up in a bowl. We're going to sprinkle some more green onions on top and some sesame, sesame seeds. And then that's going to be our uh, Asian vegetable noodle soup. Let me see how the noodles are. See, they're done. They're ready. So I hope you like this recipe. And let me know what you think of it. What you might add or replace. See you in the next episode. This will be Sarah. Bye, everybody.